to figure out the phases, the thing that I like to do is follow this procedure. First, I have to figure out, okay, where's the sun in my system? And based on that, figure out which side of both um, the earth and the moon are bright and which side is dark. So in this case, I've chosen my sun to be shining from the left. And so I've kind of shadowed the parts that are not receiving any sunlight. Then you have to figure out which part of the moon can you see from the earth. And so to do that, you draw a, a bisector, just cutting each of these bodies in half um, along the line that connects them. So if I was gonna draw a line that connected the moon and the earth, then I draw both of these bisectors perpendicular to that line. And so uh, this side of the moon on the sort of top half is not visible from earth and is never visible from earth because of that orbital um, resonance where the orbit and rotation are locked. All right, and likewise, this half of earth is visible from the moon, but this half of the earth is not visible to the moon at this particular time. Okay, so once you figure out which side of the moon the earth can actually see and which side is illuminated by the sun, then you can um, kind of imagine what does an observer on the surface facing the moon see in the sky. And so for this, I kind of like to imagine that system tilted a little bit, and then you can see that the, um, in this case, the observer sees that the left half of the moon is illuminated. Um, you can also figure out what time you can observe using this method. Um, so let me show you, I think, a different image to walk through that. Um, the, the most clear way of thinking of what time you see different phases is to imagine the noon side and the midnight side of Earth. So the noon side of Earth is the side facing directly toward the sun, right? That's when the sun is highest in its sky. So that would be right here, this, this right-hand position on the Earth. And during that time, we would see a new moon at noon because the half illuminated by the sun is facing away from Earth. The other extreme is the full moon, which an observer on the left-hand side of the Earth would see at midnight um, as a fully illuminated moon from our perspective. Then to figure out the other, um, you know, the times that you would see these other phases, you have to imagine your observer at the location where they're facing the moon. So I guess I was going to start down here. If I put an observer right down here, um, I guess like kind of at this dividing line between night and day, facing toward this third quarter moon, since the Earth spins in um, counterclockwise direction as you see it from the North Pole, then that means that this patch of land has just come into daylight, right? So that means it's sunrise at that location. So when I see this third quarter moon, I see it at sunrise when it's highest in the sky. And by the same logic, um, the side of the earth that's facing the first quarter moon is just about to dip into shadow. So that means that that side of the, of the earth is experiencing sunset. And that's when you would experience the first quarter moon. So you go from noon to midnight as the moon is in its waxing phase. Uh, that's when the moon would be highest in the sky. Um, a little bit later and later every day until it's finally highest in the sky at midnight. And then as it's waning, it becomes later and later again, moving toward noon. Okay, um, just to, you know, keep the moon phases straight in your head and just kind of the vocabulary here, the crescent moon is, well, crescent shaped. And we say the moon is waxing when it's going from new to full. So waxing is adding more light. And this always happens from the right-hand side of the moon because of this geometry. So you can always tell if there's light on the right-hand side of the moon, then it's waxing. Um, the waxing gibbous is the other waxing phase. And gibbous means like um, humped in Latin. And so that's why this gibbous, I don't know, it's a weird word, but that's where it comes from. And it's sort of like, you know, between the first quarter and full. So more of the moon is illuminated than in, uh, than 50%. Okay, and then when you're in the waning phases, the light also leaves the moon from the right-hand side first. So 
waxes from the right-hand side and it also wanes from the right-hand side.